Today we're going to learn a strategy to solve problems involving elapsed time. And this video is going to focus on using a number line. When we say elapsed time, we mean the amount of time that's passed or gone by. So we're looking at problems that tells us how long something lasts or tells us when something started and stopped and we have to figure out how, how long it lasted for. So our strategy we're going to use today is to use a number line to help you count forward or backwards to solve problems involving elapsed time. So we have a problem here. It says Micah watches his sister's piano recital. The recital starts at 12.45 p.m. and lasts 1 hour and 17 minutes. What time does the recital end? So some important information in the problem tells us that it starts at 12.45 p.m. So that's our start time. It lasts 1 hour and 17 minutes. That's our elapsed time. That's how much time passes between when the recital starts and when it ends. Our question asks, what time does the recital end? So we are looking for the end time. So we can use the number line to help us. So I'm going to put 1245 over here at the beginning. And I know it goes for 1 hour and 17 minutes. So I'm going to start by making a 1 hour jump. So I know that one hour later is going to be 1.45. If the minute hand goes all the way back around, it's going to end up at 1.45 again. So that is one hour. Then it goes one hour and 17 minutes. Well, jumping up 17 minutes is a little bit complicated, so I'm going to break that apart. I know if I'm at 1.45 in 15 minutes, it'll be 2 o'clock. So I'm going to make a jump of 15 minutes. Now I need to go two more minutes. So that's going to be a little jump. So that's two minutes. And two minutes after 2 o'clock would be 2.02. It's still p.m. It's not going to end at 2 o'clock in the morning. So our answer would be 2.02 p.m. That's a little messy. Hopefully you can read that. Okay, another problem. Sam's class spends an hour and 40 minutes on language arts. They stop at 1.50 p.m. What time do they start? So they spend an hour, so and that means one, one hour and 40 minutes. So that's important. One hour and 40 minutes. They stop at 1.50 p.m. And the question asks, what time do they start? So now we're looking for the start time. So if it ends at 1.50 p.m., I want to put that on this side of my number line. And I'm going to be going backwards. So I'm going to start by going backwards one hour. One hour is easier jumps to make. So if I go back one hour, it's going to be 12.50. Then I need to go back another 40 minutes. So 50 minus 40 is 10. So that would be at 12, 10. So that's 40 minutes. So my answer would be 12, 10. It's going to be p.m. Remember, if we're talking about 12 p.m., that's lunchtime. That's the afternoon. 12 a.m. would be midnight. So this is going to start at 12, 10 p.m. So they're not going to start language arts at midnight. Okay, so that's how you can use a number line to help you solve problems that have to do with elapsed time. 